Just a reminder, if you're not seeing your fingers glow like Rudolph's nose, then you're probably not getting deep penetration. So I've got a 633 red laser from eBay, and we see I get a pretty good glow when I'm a, a half an inch away, and then when I press it onto my thumb, you can see that glow really amplify. So let's check the intensity of the laser just for an idea. And we see it's only 25 milliwatts per centimeter squared, and we get a peak of 639 nanometers. So even though it's a relatively short red wavelength, it should penetrate very well through the skin, especially with skin contact. And now I just turned on my 633 LED panel. That's 100 milliwatts per centimeter squared, 107. And we do see we get a little bit of a glow from my fingertips. It's pretty good. Uh, but not as much as when pressing that laser on the skin, and the laser was only 25 milliwatts per centimeter squared. So we can see the thickness of my finger is about 15 millimeters, and we know several studies have reported that red light can penetrate anywhere from 20 millimeters up to about 50 millimeters. So that's a lot of penetration that we should definitely at least see some photons, see that finger lighting up. Even if we can't measure the output through the finger, we should be able to see those whole fingers lighting up. So a good test to see if your panel is actually getting you deep penetration with non-contact is to hold your hand up in front of it at six inches away or whatever distance they advice and see if your fingers are really glowing. So it seems much more optimal to use a skin contact device that you can really press and get that penetration through the fingertips and really get that penetration that they advertise in the studies.